Hello again. As part of our online education success series, in this episode of the Explorations Learning Network, we'll be discussing asking for help. Hi, I'm Avi Anderson, and this is the Explorations Learning Network. Learning isn't always an easy process. At first glance, some topics and some information can be difficult to understand. Many students have difficulty in school, not because the material is too difficult, but more often because they fail to ask for help. There are a whole bunch of reasons why asking for help is one of the most important skills you'll need to learn, especially if you're going to take an online class. Remember, the key to your success is how well you understand the new information you're learning. Don't be afraid or embarrassed to admit that you need help with a problem or concept. Chances are other students in your class are going to feel the same way. There are many different ways to ask for and get help. And there are many different situations when you may need help. And there are many different people there to help. Your instructor can help you understand the information presented in the class. Your instructor can also help you understand how the class operates and how to navigate all of the different functions of your student learning portal. Librarians and tutors can help you with your assignments, and it's not considered cheating. The people at the help desk can provide assistance with getting online and accessing your class. There are other people, coaches, counselors, and advisors who can help you plan your day deal with life's little emergencies, and even figure out ways to help you pay for an online class. And all of their help is free. Even though you may be sitting at home alone in your ripped up t-shirt with your hair sticking out in every direction, your teeth ain't been brushed, your toenails all unclipped, and you're just disgusting, you're not alone. <laughs> There is still a grip of people out in cyberspace ready to help you succeed, even looking the way you are right now. In most cases, your instructor is the first person you should ask for help. Your instructor for your online class is your number one go-to person to ask for help on almost any topic. Most instructors in online education not only teach the course, but chances are they've taken an online class and even played a critical role in creating the course. Not only are they the experts in the subject you're studying, but they also know the technical side of how the class works. The instructor doesn't have all the answers, but they usually know where to find them. If they don't know the answer to your question, they'll point you in the right direction to get the answer. How you request help is important. There are usually two ways to ask your instructor for help. The first is in an open forum in your class. In this setting, your question is public. It's just like raising your hand in a regular classroom. Over here, me, it's me again. <laughs> Don't worry about asking what seems like a simple question. There may be other students who have the same question. Asking a question in the open forum is productive when anyone can benefit from the answer. However, if the question is about a topic that should be private, like information that only you and the instructor should hear, then you'll want to ask that question in a private forum or through an email directly to your instructor. Remember that confidentiality is an important part of any school experience. Student information is protected by federal law through the Family Education Rights and Privacy Act. Your instructor and other school officials are responsible for maintaining the privacy of your information, such as your grades, phone number, address, social security number, attendance records, and most other information about your school experience. However, they can only do that if you help them, so be sure not to share private information in the open forum of your online class. The Explorations Learning Network is a production of Clark College and is sponsored through generous donations and the support of students and faculty. 
Mark Gaither is our producer and director, and this episode was sponsored through a Department of Labor grant administered by the Washington State Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board. The Workforce Training and Education Coordinating Board is a partnership of labor, business, and government dedicated to helping Washington residents obtain and succeed in family wage jobs while meeting employers' needs for skilled workers. I'm Aviance Anderson for the Explorations Learning Network, advancing learning for the information age.